Hey, good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the third panel of the day. And the one thing I can promise you from this panel, there will be no shaven heads going on in this one at all. We all love the, our, our hair and uh, more than anything. So uh, let me bring our pair of panelists in with me today. The wonderful close friend of mine, Mark Hay, marvelous Mark Hay, I must add. Mark, it's always great to have you here. And also, the the guest who has been on uh, the show more often than anyone else, a uh, hey. that's someone who I don't get to see often enough too, Mr. Paulo Rivera. All right, me too. Uh, I don't get to see Paulo. Exactly. We don't, pa Paulo. I feel like I haven't seen you in shoot, man. It must be like six or seven years. I feel like it was. I don't even know what San Diego that would have been, but it's been a long time. It it has been a long time. I've had two children since then. That explains not, a lot. Not personally. But yes, <laughs> we had to clarify that. <laughs> Why himself. are we shaving heads, by the way? <laughs> oh boy, I'll tell you. You know, Anthony. Yeah, you know, he had a he had this concept. He he came in as a as a as an Elvis impersonator to start his uh, panel, and midway through, he he shaved his head and became the kingpin. So uh, Sharon gotcha. buzzed him. And then I uh, got it down. He looked more like Lex Luthor, I thought. But um, <laughs> it, but he looked about five years younger, surprisingly. <laughs> so uh, I don't know. He, he's yeah. Crazy. Good it, for him. Yeah. Good for him. Exactly. So, yes. So many people are. Yeah. Josh Flanders says he was scarred from the last panel. I'm sorry, everybody. You know, we can't offer you any any support after seeing that. But you know what? The best support of all is to see. Uh, an artist at work here, and and that's what we've got going on today. So, so guys, tell me, tell me a bit about what we're we're going to be uh, talking about today, and also offering today. Well, for uh, well, first of all, shout out, hey Jiggy, hey everybody, um, welcome back for you guys who have participated in these. Um, this is what probably our third or fourth one, I think. No, maybe. I think you only missed one. Honestly, I think you've been okay. on five five of these. Yeah, five okay. or six. All right. So if you guys have been here before, um, we usually talk for a while and then start auctioning and always run out of time. Uh, and we don't want to do that today. So we'll talk a little bit throughout things today, but um, we're going to be auctioning um, lots of X-Men characters, uh, Storm, Rogue, Nightcrawler, and Magneto, and then a She-Hulk. And they're all uh, four, uh, four inch by six inch pieces, uh, the same type, piece that Paolo has been doing. Um, I don't know if we have any handy, I guess you can preview one. Uh, we're not going to auction it for another minute, but um, this is the type of, uh, there you go. So there is a rogue piece that Paolo has already completed. Uh, it's but pencils, inks, and then your watercolors uh, over the top of that. Uh, so um, uh, there's She-Hulk. Everybody's favorite these days. <laughs> so uh, what we'll do is once we start an auction, we'll start it at uh, an opening price. And we'll, once we get a bid, we'll do a, an auction and then um, call it. Uh, I can't remember how we did it last time. I think we gave um, what maybe a I cannot... five second lag. Yeah, um, I think once you because, said you're going to take uh, any you know, last minute bids or last second bids, and if uh, nothing comes in, you just call it. So don't don't delay everybody. You know that on the internet, there's always a little bit of a lag. We're about five seconds ahead of all of you in the studio here. So uh, you know we could say it's that we're going to do it as a ten count in our head, but uh, you know don't don't wait. If you want a piece and you're willing to pay the price that the uh, that the bid level's at, put your bid in right away. I mean, at the end of the, we want it. There's going to be five. No, there's going to be six total pieces that are going to be at auction. You've got the five pre-done ones and the Thanos that Paulo is working oh, on right now. Yep. Yep. And every single time, unfortunately, we have somebody who um, waits a second and then misses out um, and wishes they would have reacted uh, quicker. And we do our, the best that we can to spot everybody, uh, everyone's bids, but um, there, there is a lag. So, yes, uh, definitely like Bill said. Um, if you want it, go for it. Um, uh, Paulo, do you want to talk at all about, uh, we'll have a quick little uh, conversation about what you've been doing uh, professionally lately, and then we'll jump there was There was a question you know, from uh, oh. Asian American okay. Advice saying, have Paulo comment on his work on Spider-Man uh, one moment in time, if uh, Paulo has any 
thoughts about that? One moment in time. Oh man, I, I, going back. Uh, yeah. uh, I don't know. It's it fun. I mean, that, that's that that's my ago. favorite Spider-Man art that I've I've done uh, for myself. I feel like that was like when I was firing on all cylinders. Uh, I you know I wasn't getting much sleep, but I really enjoyed being on it. And uh, I don't know. I think I think I finished it and then went to San Diego, and I, I just I was just super relieved uh to have it done but also super proud of the work that we have done and i can uh, safely say that uh paula was not offering a commission spot today everybody i saw that was a question in the audience as well from our wall yeah we, we we talked about it briefly and uh we're both worried that there's not gonna be enough time but uh mark and i were talking about doing another one uh down the road uh once these all get squared away because you know if i if I overpromise, <laughs> I'm going to underdeliver, and I, I always overestimate how much time I have. Yep, and um, yeah, we will announce something down the road, but uh, it will probably be a a lunch type stream um, because uh, time wise uh, for him and um, having kids and and his schedule and all that. So uh, we'll announce something down the road, but it'll probably be. Um, one day during the week uh, at lunch, somebody's lunchtime uh, and, you know, do a piece or, or two um, and have a little conversation, uh, that kind of thing. So we'll, we'll announce that um, probably on Splash page um, at some point once Paolo and I figure it out. But um, <clears throat> Paolo, did you want to uh, talk at all about uh, what you've been doing professionally and then we'll jump into the first auction. Yeah, uh, I, I wish I had anything to show, but uh, I've been working for Marvel Studios. Uh, in fact, I've got my, they just sent me my new hat. Um, That's official. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Actually, I, I haven't worn hats in a while and I, I realize now why I used to. It's because it, it, it cuts down on the glare from uh, the light that comes above. So now I'm, I'm wearing hats again. Just like uh, in the mid two, well, yeah. mid two thousands, I guess. Nice. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've been in Marvel Studios now for eighty one weeks, and I work about half time, about twenty hours a week. I can't really say what I'm doing, but it's uh, on Spider Man freshman year, and I've done everything from character designs to backgrounds to keyframe, just you know, all over the place. Um, and, and I, I will say I'm not the only comic book artist working on it. There are a lot of us fellow, uh, you know, and, and specifically Spidey and Daredevil alum that uh, are helping to kind of build this world out. So I'm pretty excited about it. Um, I'm also scared of saying too much, but I, I don't think that's too much. <laughs> uh, so but yeah, it's been a lot of fun. You're doing online like are you streaming in with these other artists or is this something you physically go in person no no i it's all remote um mm -hmm. like basically i just like log my hours and uh send them a bill it's kind of weird because i've never worked that way before so it's a new experience in that sense but it's, you don't really you know, have any um uh, contact with the other artists you just know who's working with you basically. yeah every once in a while I mean, you know I, I get on the email list kind of thing i'm like oh um, wow they're on here <laughs> and you know it, it would it would be people you knew and it would be people you'd be excited about i'll put it that way and and that's not that's true not just for what i'm working on but also for uh, x-men 97 a bunch of stuff so like they you know marvel's got a pretty deep bench as far as comic creators go so they they went right to them I'm actually worried about the comics because <laughs> they have so many people, but at the same time, I'm seeing people's names who are still making comics themselves, who are much more productive than I am. So well, that's fact, interesting. Have... So you, don't you actually don't have the opportunity to know what the other ones are doing, but they're all, you're all working on the same project. I mean, that's, that's an, that's a really interesting way of doing handling project management. I mean, whoever's, well, I, I should, you know. I should say, I should say I'm, I'm not in the loop as much as others. So yeah. I'm only doing 20 hours and I'm also not there, but there are people who are there and there are people who go in more frequently, but I, I just kind of, from the beginning, I chose not to be as involved, you know, basically half time. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, 
I know there are people who <laughs> know what's going on more than I do. We do have a question from JW. Uh, how much to get Paolo to draw interiors, perhaps on his own, create our own project? <laughs> I I am I'm finally contemplating. It's it's never been a, a money issue. It's <clears throat> it's always been a time issue. Um, but the good news is my my three year old son is is finally getting out of his terrible twos. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm starting to contemplate getting back into comics again because I, I did it when uh, my my daughter was born in 2015, and I still did you know a bunch of Hellboy uh, issues and uh, you know one like a, a short story for Marvel. I did a a, a short eight pager for DC, uh, you know w while having two kids, and that just about broke me and my family. Uh, <laughs> it's just eight pages. Uh, but the kids are becoming less less work as they get older. So uh, hopefully I will start thinking about that stuff again in the not too distant future. I'm thinking one to two years, I can start contemplating it again. We also have a question from Jiggy. Uh, you know Jiggy. Uh, oh yes, hi Jiggy. Are, are, are all your character designs for freshman year digital? And I, I'd like uh, to know the answer to no. that question too. <laughs> I I made sure to make some of them real. Uh, now the vast majority of my work is digital because it requires so many uh, you know edits and and whatnot. But I do have maybe like five pieces that are for real for real. Uh, and and stuff you know people will be excited about. I know because I was excited about doing it. Um, uh, and what I will also say is. Uh, there's there's at least one thing that's been released that I that I actually did that I actually like was my hand. Um, but most of the stuff that you've seen uh, released online, um, I, I didn't create, but I have drawn, uh, you know, because it's, it's a big group project. Uh, but there's at least one piece that I did uh, that, that made it to the comic book news sites. Awesome. Well, um, do we want to just uh, jump into the first one so we sure. uh, can gauge time? Um, yeah. Which one did you the, want to start off with? The uh, non X Men character? Off, um, yeah, sure. We can start off with She Hulk. Okay. And uh, as far as uh, opening bids and whatnot, I mean, you want to let everybody know? You know well, where, $250 is the opening to start. Bid. Okay. Um, so we're going to start this at $250 if we have uh, any takers. Uh, you guys can start uh, bidding now, uh, and uh, I guess uh, time-wise, Bill, um, how do you want to do this? Once we stop with bids, or is bid slow down, we'll call it yeah. 10 seconds, something like that. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, so the so opening bid is in here. Just yeah, just put the amount in the chat, and then what I would say is, uh, you know, we'll, we'll just kind of. <laughs> Leave it out there for uh, you know for a bit, and then uh, any uh, anyone who wants it. Mark, what's the best way to contact you too if anybody wins any of these today? So if you'll drop an email, splashpageart at gmail dot com. Uh, that is the best way. Uh, that is the email that I pretty much give everyone uh, who comes through the website uh, to purchase artwork. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, do that. Um, and I also have a notepad. I'm going to take names um, of the winner. Uh, so if you have a handle, I will probably ask your name uh, once we close. So uh, do we have anyone who would like to open the bidding at $250 for She-Hulk? So far, I haven't seen anything uh, come through yet. No. And what's the size on these two? I forget. So it's four inches by six inches. And it's a pretty thick illustration board. Paolo can probably explain it better than me. Yeah, uh, four by six on uh, Strathmore illustration board. And it's, uh, you know, they're like, it's super heavy cardstock. You, you almost can't bend them, um, but they're super durable. And they're great for um, uh, putting in a little frame and putting on your desk, you know, something that you can keep by your computer screen. I was fortunate enough to get my girlfriend a Black Widow piece uh, last year. Uh, I think last year, hell, I don't know. All time has merged together. Okay, well, yeah. uh, things has, have started. So Peter Rowe opened with 250 and Jiggy has 
uh, come in at 375. Uh, now we have Peter at 500. So uh, we see 500 currently on the She-Hulk piece from Peter Rowe. I was worried you started too high. Yes, you you often uh, undervalue your stuff, but uh, you're an artist, so we expect <laughs> that, right? All right, so uh, Peter at 500 um, is the last bit. I guess we can start counting um, 10 seconds, or I guess um, call it, yeah, we'll go 10 seconds once. I'm counting in my head, Mark. We should, have like a little, we should have like a little timer we can hear. Yeah, we should. It, it, <laughs> that would help. Next yes, time. See, we think about these when we're in the stream. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That doesn't, so, that doesn't help. I would say that's been 10 seconds right now. We're going to yeah. call Peter Rowe the winner at 500. So, Peter, if you would please email. And there we go. Oh, shit. <sighs> You need to ban Colin Sullen, by the way. Uh, I love Colin. I know he just tree fitty after uh, Jiggy. I, I'm I don't know. Knowing Colin, that's a joke. No, no, that's, that was, was actually... saying, no, it's that was before the Peter, Peter's thing. Oh, Peter's Peter's okay. was the last one. Okay. So knowing Peter is, Colin. Um, yep. I'm used to Colin being a smartass, so you have to excuse He's me. He's not a smartass. Uh, He's. <laughs> He's the cog Colin. that makes comic art fans work every single day. Okay. <laughs> we remember we used to go to conventions together, Bill. Yeah. Okay. He was the okay. hardest working guy in the booth. I know. You. Yes, <laughs> I know. That doesn't make him less of a smart ass. Uh, <laughs> hey, but Peter Rowe, thank you so much. That hey, was a, yes, congratulations, Peter. It thank you, Peter. Great pickup. If you'll email me to splashpageart at gmail.com. That would be super. Splash page art at gmail.com. I'll, like, I'll make a little banner so we have that for uh, going forward. All right. It can be easier Bill. for everybody. Yeah. Do you want to throw that uh, Thanos up so everybody can look uh, at the one that, that he's working uh, on? Yeah, As he's working yeah. on it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Are you... yeah we're Just showing so it. We're showing you full it. screen okay. now, Paulo. Oh, okay. People see what you're doing. We'll get so, back so this the, is the one that we're gonna you're gonna do last, correct? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. This one's uh, 11 by 14, inked by my dad, and then uh, I watercolored it. Although my dad didn't sign it. What? I know. I know. I already yelled at him just because I enjoy yelling at my dad. <laughs> <laughs> and but he did a great time. job. <laughs> yes, he did. Uh, yeah, I just got to finish it now. Oh, Dad. Yeah, he was just he was just here. He came out to visit me and the family for uh, about two weeks. And then awesome. he just got home just in time for another hurricane. But they're fine. Uh, good, man. Where, where's your dad at, Paulo? Daytona I just... Beach. Oh, Daytona, Daytona Beach, Beach, Florida. Florida. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, which has got, you know, they got hammered. Uh, God, was it a month ago uh, yeah. or more? And then they just got hit by Nicole. The first one was definitely worse. I had some some friends get uh, flooded out pretty bad, but my parents' place, uh, you know, it's on. <laughs> I, it's relatively high ground for for Florida. It's pretty high. It's like thirty feet <laughs> above sea level. That is good. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's you know they're they're fine. A lot a lot of debris. They lost power and everything, but they're they're fine. That's the important thing. Well, you know, I, I have actually uh, moved to Florida myself. I'm probably what? about an, an hour from your dad's house. I'll bet. What? You. Really? Yeah, um, I'm about an hour north of Orlando, and uh, that which and that would put Daytona Beach about an hour east of me. Yeah. Wait, where are you? You're I'm, in the you're in the middle. I am in the middle. I'm about I'm about as middle as you can get in the entire state where I'm at. Like I say, it's like an hour north of Orlando, so. Uh, yeah, we, we've always wanted, you know, Maureen's parents have lived down here for 35 years. So we've, we've always come down here, but, uh, so I knew this was going to be where we we're going to end up. My, but my oldest daughter is going to full sale in Orlando and my youngest daughter <laughs> wants to go to Ringling in Sarasota. So we felt like, okay, this is the time. So we, we moved down here. Uh, I mean, I bought the house in December, but we moved down here in August. Wow. I had no idea you were down there. 
Yeah. And I would say welcome, but I'm, <laughs> I'm not there anymore. You're not there. But if you're ever out this way, you, you know, if you, you come out to, down here, I'd love to you know, get together sometime. Yeah, for sure. I, like we keep talking about it because we, we haven't uh, we used to go out every Christmas and then uh, my son was born and just made everything too difficult. But now that it's a little easier, uh, we're talking about it again. Hey, we have a, a question from JW. Uh, was Paolo's dad a pro inker before Paolo got into the business? Um, I can answer this question or you can answer this question, Paolo. It's up to you. Uh, <laughs> I can answer it. He, he was okay. not. Uh, my, my dad did, uh, back in the 80s, he did everything from caricatures to airbrush T-shirts. And then in the uh, mid, mid-90s, he switched to custom motorcycles and uh, just all kinds of like custom art uh, for vehicles and whatnot. And uh, his very first professional gig uh, I brought him in in 2011 for Daredevil. Uh, technically, his first one was a, a, a Spidey Punisher cover, but uh, first interior work was on Daredevil. And, uh, you know, he hit the ground running and, uh, you know, got best best inker <laughs> Harvey Award for his rookie year. So he didn't need any help from me. <laughs> Uh, oh, Ryan dead. is asking, is awesome. uh, Ryan Peters is asking if the Thanos pencil uh, is pencils are they traditional or digital uh these are they're digital so the way i work with my dad when i do these ones i i do the art digitally i print it out he inks on top of that and then i watercolor on top of that watercolor over his inks on the same board yeah, yeah. and in, in this case i'll end up doing a little bit of acrylic work just to make these guys glow um but yeah, yeah, it's uh, mostly mostly watercolor and then a little bit of acrylic where I need it. Well, so maybe maybe a silly question here before we start the next next auction. Okay. But I know like when when you sell your published work when you're doing it, doing published work, you typically have like the pencil piece from you and the ink piece from your father. So when you have a piece like this, is there is there actually the you know pencil piece you have around or it's all no. It's all no, digital. This, yeah, this is the only only piece. I just only piece, the thing yeah. is in the last in the last few years I've gotten too tired of doing like the pencils. Yeah. Uh, so this way, yeah. It, actually, Comic Art Live has helped me experiment with it because I, I wanted to do just the you know all the penciling digitally and then let him ink on top of that and then it it frees me up to actually paint with real paint, mm -hmm. which I enjoy more than doing uh, computer color. Because computer color, you know, has a certain look, and I spend a lot of time on the computer trying to make it look like watercolor. Right. And it's just easier to just use actual watercolor. Uh, I don't always have time to do it, but uh, when I do, I, I I like it. I enjoy the process. Sure, sure. Well, I, I always think of you as a painter first, Paulo. I mean, you know, when I <laughs> was first exposed to all your work, I mean, that was, yeah. you know, that's that's what you were doing. I know it was killing you. Uh, all those uh, painted interior pages on several projects that you know, I got to see uh, in person in San Diego. So yeah, whenever I think about your work, that's so I think that's cool that uh, you know that that this is the this is the way you work on these pieces. So yeah, yeah, because I, I do miss painting. Like uh, it's something I enjoy doing, and it's actually like it's the easiest part of the job. Like I can I can talk to you guys while I do it because you know all the hard thinking has already been done. Uh, cause like penciling is, is really, really hard. It takes a lot of just sheer brain power, all, you know, all I can muster. And, uh, this, I can just kind of, you know, it's, it's coloring. It's fun. I can tell. Well, why don't we go ahead and do the next one? Is that all right, Mark? Yes, please. Um, all right. trying to stay on schedule. So why don't we do Magneto next? Yep. That's all the right. queued up. So everybody's favorite X-Men villain slash leader of the team <laughs> yeah pretty depending on the pretty daily funny. all right well we're going to start this off at 250 dollars if uh, there are any takers uh, please start bidding now and this is the only uh i think uh, the villain in the lot other than thanos of course but uh from from these four by sixes yeah yeah yeah, I feel like the next lot, next time we do this, I want to do all villains, but we'll we'll see when we get there. Yeah, this is it. Same as the other one, just uh, four by six on uh, illustration awesome. board. 
Well, uh, Jiggy has started off at 350. So Mike, uh, I'm afraid you're um, under him. You need to rebid if you're still interested. So right now, uh, Jiggy is at 350. And obviously Magneto's cool to, to paint. You get all the reflection of the helmet um, and you know everybody likes the, the helmet on him. Yeah, he's he's definitely the most fun. Like, basically, red is the most fun to paint, which is always that's one reason I love Spider Man. Because uh, anytime you slap red on a painting, it just makes it look cool. And then you get the shiny reflections, and then he's like, you know, <laughs> I mean, a he's just purple fun. in there for metal. It looks like. Yeah, yeah, he's he's just he's he's always been a great character design, and he's probably one of the best villains. Just you know, I I always like what they. They referred to X Men as a uh, your as the Thinking Boys comic. <laughs> you know they they've always been the most political, the coolest. Um, you know, yeah, I'm I'm just I'm anxiously awaiting for them to come into the MCU. Yes, and be yeah, done right. That is for sure. Yeah. X Men and Spider Man were my two go tos growing up. I had large runs of both of them for years. Um, so yeah. Really enjoy seeing you do both those characters. Well, it looks like uh, Jiggy, uh, we're going to start counting 10 seconds. Uh, 350 is still the highest. So um, we're going to go 10 seconds from now. If Jiggy is still the highest bidder, then he will win it. So we'll go 10. Oh, OK, Peter's in on the action for 400. So Peter is currently. Oh, 450. All right. See, Jiggy knows how this works. Yeah. <laughs> Jiggy is an old pro. Yes. All right. So, Jiggy, you're currently the highest at 450. Oh, Peter's got you now at 500. <laughs> That's a random number, Jiggy, but you, you're currently leading with 616. <laughs> <laughs> he knows what that means. <laughs> 625 uh, for Peter. Yeah. Yeah, we need to start doing auctions where every every number has to mean something. <laughs> Just to make things harder. All right. So um, all right, Rick tried at 616 as well, but I'm afraid you're behind Rick. Uh, Peter <laughs> had bid you at 625. Now Jiggy is in the lead at 650. So, um, Jiggy, you're currently uh, ahead again, and we're going to, okay, start. Okay, oh, Peter, Peter is offered as at 700 now. Yes. Oh, wow. So we'll still keep it. When we pull up a uh, bid, we will go ahead and uh, give you 10 seconds to think about it before we decide to uh, call that. Mark, you want to be, you're, you're like at five, four, four. Three. There you go. Two. Two. And one. And one. Oh. All, All right. right. Well, Peter Rowe has picked that one up. All right. Thank you, Peter. All right. So yeah, nice score again, Peter. So, you know, and I would tell everybody who's watching right now to um, you know, if you're on YouTube, and I'm sure most of you are, there is like a little live button link that's at the lower left hand corner of the screen. Just in case you might be a few seconds behind the stream, that's always the best way to kind of uh, get yourself up to speed. Or just a refresh in your browser, too. I mean, it, you'll you'll lose the stream for a couple seconds right now, but bottom line is is you'll be as close to real time as uh, you can get. And you know, since we're giving you 10 seconds, that sort of helps. But sometimes you can be 10 or 12 seconds behind and not know it. Uh, it it's, it's problematic when we're, when we're doing claim sale shows like this. But um, again, Peter, congrats. That's two, two for two. Yeah, so David, so David has a question. Hey guys, only the Thanos will be bigger than four by six. And that is correct. Uh, yep. We have, um, we have one, two, three, four, five, four by sixes. Um, we have a rogue, a nightcrawler and a storm remaining. And then the Thanos is 11 by 14. Is that what you said? Correct. Uh, okay. Excellent. Uh, so congratulations, Peter. Um, Marcus, you have to work on your routine, brother. 
<laughs> no. He said that Peter yeah. was on a row. Yes. R O E. Marcus okay, has well, a million of them. Yes. <laughs> I think he's one of your regulars, is he not? Uh, of course. So. He, he yeah. uh, won an award last year on CAF for the most comments. I think, uh, <laughs> really? I, don't even remember what, I don't even remember what the number was. Was it like 8,000? Like it was, it was a lot. It was a whole lot. Uh, Marcus, uh, he is the he's the biggest giver that there is out there in the comic art community, whether it's in the chats that we have or it's over on CAF. So, yeah, we uh, we dearly appreciate the time he puts into all the stuff that we do here. Well, why don't we roll right into Storm um, since we're kind of on a roll here to see if. OK, uh, I'll go ahead and pull that storm, storm off because... at uh, two hundred and fifty dollars. Um, All right. I'm guessing, Mark Levy, that is your comment about the number of times Marcus talked and not your bid on the storm piece. <laughs> Eight hundred million. Now that million. would be a that would be a great sale today. Um, <laughs> but that, that that is gorgeous, Paulo. You haven't signed that one yet. Hey, just letting you know. Yeah, well, I'm I'm actually still not done. Uh, oh. I still got a few a few hair strands and and whatnot to do in here. Uh, you can see like some of the pencils and whatnot. So I'm, I'm still working on it, but it's basically what it's going to look like. And uh, for everyone, obviously they're all in uh, Paolo's possession. So uh, once he uh, completes the uh, Thanos piece, which I think he's not going to finish in this show, uh, then he will ship everything to me and then I'll mail them out from there. So yep. um, if, uh, if we have okay, it looks like Marcus uh, is opening with 250. Oh, oh no, okay, maybe he was telling. He was just everyone. letting everybody know, yeah, okay. 250 gotcha. opening bid on every piece. Yes. But uh, Ronald Went has jumped in to start with a $500 bid on the storm. Okay, oh, wow. great. That kind of reminds me of Art Adams' um, storm from back when he was doing the annuals. Do you remember? Um, yeah like annual nine, annual 10, uh, the way he kind of did the wispy hair with, with a storm. I always loved his stuff. So. Yeah, no, he's, he's the best. Yeah. For me, like I, I always, with X-Men, it's, it's hard to think of anything besides the cartoon for me. Cause that, that's like really where I became a, a big fan. I eventually did get into the comics, but like the, the cartoon is really where I, you know, discovered who all the characters were and just first got interested. Octavio, you are currently leading at your with your five hundred and fifty dollar bid. I uh, <clears throat> my favorite storm is the Mohawk storm, but uh, I really like this version that you've done as well. Like I said, uh, that time period, uh, Art Adams doing that, um, those annuals and specials, uh, are some of my favorite stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I love I love Mohawk Mohawk Storm too. The, the, I've I painted her once for uh, she was in one of the small panels on uh, the Marvel 75th anniversary cover that I did. That was a while a while ago. I think that's the only time I've I've drawn her or painted her. Maybe they'll bring the Mohawk Storm version into the Marvel universe, and you'll have a chance to do a cast poster. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm hoping I get to do more. They they haven't asked me uh, recently, but I'm hoping at the very least they'll ask me to do a, a cap one just for the sake of continuity, because I've, I've done one for every cap one so far. Um, for the Avengers, I've only I've done two. Uh, didn't well, do any for the first ones. So, Ronald, you're currently leading at 600. I was just about to start counting uh, 10 seconds down for Octavio, but uh, now Ronald is in the lead at 600. Uh, we have some other comments. Max uh, Machado uh, laughed and said that the cartoon is what got him uh, reading comic books and reading in general. Uh, yeah. So he's got yeah, same here. That as well. Yeah, Genius and that, that's saying, one reason I'm so excited for the, the new cartoon. Jiggy just said that he he owns, I guess, the Mohawk piece. He's I have that Mohawk piece, is what he said. Oh, oh, the Marvel 75th. That's right. Yeah, I, I yeah. think that's when I first became aware of you. <laughs> that's what I think of it. It's like, who, who bought that piece? 
So Ronald, I'm going to start counting down uh, 10 seconds uh, now, uh, since it uh, looks like you're still in, in the lead and have been. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one. All right. So Ronald went. You are the winner of the storm at 600. Thank you, Ronald. Yeah, congratulations, Ronald. So uh, what was the email address again, Mark? Splashpageart at gmail.com. An easy one to remember. Yep. So Ronald, if you will email me, I would appreciate it. Yeah, and when you uh, shoot them an email, of course, mention the, the uh, piece that you got. And it's always good to include your mailing address right out the, out, out the gate. So it makes it easy for Mark to have all your contact information. Yep. Thank you very much, uh, Bill. That is correct, because that would be the first question I would ask is for your address so I can uh, calculate shipping. Exactly. And phone number, because I use FedEx and they always need that. So, uh, But yep, uh, if you could email me that information. That'd be great. All right. Well, everybody's high five and Ronald in the chat. Well done. So you got uh, so on the four by sixes, the, the next pair that we've got uh, that are left are a Nightcrawler and the Rogue. Mm hmm. Yep. So. And on all of these pieces, Paulo, it's a little bit, uh, you got ink, you get a little bit of watercolor and then a little bit of acrylic on most of them. Uh, yeah, it depends. Um, usually if I do acrylic, it's just for like special effects, like on Magneto. Uh, there's a little bit of, of acrylic white over the, uh, the highlight. Mm -hmm. Um, and sometimes I'll, I'll, I'll do it to kind of white out, uh, any mistakes or to make things clearer or sharper. Um, and then on like, uh, on Nightcrawler, I used acrylic to outline the BAMP. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I really like that. That's fun. It really pops. And then, <laughs> actually, I, I tried something new on, on this Nightcrawler one. Um, I got some fluorescent yellow, and I just gave it the tiniest little glaze on the eyes. So the eyes, I don't know if you can see it here, but they really pop. Uh, compared to everything else, because it's just the tiniest bit of uh, fluorescent color. Like it doesn't, it doesn't scream hot yellow, but it it looks like it, it it's glowing kind of. Yeah, that's, that's really cool. neat. Well, on, on that note, do we want to jump right into Nightcrawler then? Yeah, that's a good good uh, segue to start the fourth auction here. So uh, let me go ahead and bring the image up and so <coughs> starting bid at 250 as always for for these pieces so anybody who is interested feel free to throw your bid into the chat and uh this one is definitely complete because it has been signed as you can see 100 percent done i see uh jill loudon in the group uh congratulating ronald um shout out to jill she's one of my local uh, art collectors here in the Dallas area where I live. Uh, I get to see her somewhat regularly at my comic book store, uh, picking up artwork from time to time. So she has, uh, I think, one, uh, one, at least one of your pieces um, previously here. She's a big Wonder oh, no. Woman collector. So. <clears throat> All right. So it looks like Brian started with 250 and then it jumped right to 286 from Eric and then uh, now Pat has outbid him with 300. Uh, so we have uh, Max saying, Dan, this is this one is good. Um, so Pat, you're still in the lead at 300 right now. Do you have a favorite X-Men character? Um, Yourself, Paula? Mm, it's always tough because I'm, you know, uh, God, I 
I gotta think. I mean, that that's kind of the thing about them. It's like they're they're always like a team. If you know, I I always love drawing fastball specials. So like that that's the first thing that pops into my mind. So there's got to be something there. I love Colossus and Wolverine kind of working together. Uh, <clears throat> but then you know, I I love Storm and and Rogue. I think mainly just from the TV show. Like I just always think of them fighting a sentinel in the mall. <laughs> they're, like, <laughs> they're just trying to have a nice day out and they end up having to save Jubilee. Um, yeah. And see, that's the thing. Like I, when I was, when I was younger, like I hated Jubilee and now I love her because I, I just, you know, I thought she was annoying kid back when I was an annoying kid. <laughs> and, and now I, I kind of like, I don't know, I get her character a lot more and kind of like why she was there. Uh, but as, you know, as a teenager, I was just like, I wish they were fighting more. And, and now I, I enjoy kind of like the, the narrative arc a lot more, you know, especially like the, the relationship between Wolverine and her. Um, yeah, I didn't, I think what I didn't realize at the time is the part of the reason I liked Wolverine is because of how he treated Jubilee. But that kind of stuff goes over your head when you're 13. Uh, P. Rutledge, 68, you're at 350. You're currently the high bidder. <clears throat> and, and Pat, Pat has now countered with 375. I always loved, uh, it's a Neil Adams arc in the comic book uh, with uh, Havoc, um, uh, his, uh, it's like issue 53 to 55 or something like that in that range with, uh, I remember him, you know, shooting the Sentinels with his, um, his energy ability. Uh, I always love that. So yeah, Sentinels definitely. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, he, I love, I love drawing the Sentinels. I love, I love drawing them all cut off. <laughs> <laughs> it was it was really smart of them to like to make their main foil like these robots that they could absolutely trash you know without any regard for <laughs> life or limb because um, it you know it allows them to always to still have the underdog status while beating the absolute shit out <laughs> okay. and also the dynamic of you know men controlling machines to harm other humans, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. That's an interesting dynamic with AI and all of our worries and stuff about robots. So we have some stuff going on here. Pat counter with 375, P. Rutledge with 400, and now Pat is in the lead at 425. You want to do a 10 count now, Mark? Yeah, why don't we do that? So we'll start with 10 now. Five, three, two, one. All right. So, all right. So, we're going to call out. Pat at 425 for Nightcrawler. Oh, nice. Thank you, Pat. Nice pickup, Pat. And uh, of course, that leaves us with only one, and that yep. is the rogue. And it sounds like from the conversations in the chat, uh, people are have been holding out for the rogue. As, <laughs> as maybe you've have you shown that on your stream on your uh, Instagram or? And so, uh, Peter, Peter did try to put a bid in late, but uh, we had already called it. He, he tried to put a four fifty oh. in. Got Sorry, you. Peter. But yeah, she is gorgeous. Yes, I really like that. That's kind of the savage um, land um, rogue from what I remember. I don't remember. Um, well, but... I mean, I whenever I draw the X Men, my my I immediately go to Jim Lee, uh, and, and technically she should be wearing a, a black headband. But at this point, like everybody does the green anyway, so I just I went with it. Yeah, I love the hair. Um, all the details you've done with her hair. 
Yeah, it's it's the kind of hair that I, I don't I don't usually do cuz just, you know, that was that's how everybody's hair looked back then. Um, yeah. but it, it takes a lot of it takes a lot of time to to draw like that. Um but, you know, it's also really fun to kind of get lost in it. Well, people are already starting bidding on it, so we might as well highlight it. Let me pull it up on the screen. And where yeah, are we Mark at? Mark started things with 300 and has uh, been countered already by R. Walters, uh, 350. Now Rick is 375. So it looks like we have a few people. Uh, Brian has jumped in at 500 and Jiggy at 616. <laughs> uh, so it, we had a couple lags of uh, J, JC and Hans. I'm afraid you're already outbid by Jiggy. So Jiggy is currently 616 is the highest. Oh, All right, Hans so, has come in at 700. Yes. Thank you for that bid, Hans. Oh, wow. Yeah, I love your, the, <clears throat> you're just such an awesome painter, but the, your skin, uh, I would have to think flash is one of the most difficult things. And I love the way you, you know, just have enough flash and, and the colors just right, you know? Yeah. It's, it's tough to, you know, when, when you're doing like just the, the, the littlest bit of cheek, you have to wet the, wet the surface first uh, so that you, you don't, you know, you're essentially working wet into wet and that gives you that nice kind of uh blend gradient where you you know it's there but you can't say where the edge is exactly so we've got uh, some competition going over here matthew through 750 up and then uh, brian is at 800 uh, is currently leading so uh, lots of compliments about the rogue awesome rogue love the colors oh thank you um, wes stefan uh, Matthew is currently leading at 850. Matthew Plantilla. So lots of love for Rogue. Pat L, such a great piece. So yeah, I, that hair is just amazing. <laughs> yeah. Put a lot of love into that, Paulo. <laughs> Yeah, if you do a team book, I imagine you want every everybody with short hair to make it easy. <laughs> yeah, kind of. It's it's kind of the reason I, I never I never wanted to tackle anything like that because man, one one character is tough enough. But you know, I I love that people do it. I just I don't know if I could handle it. All right. Well, uh, we're going to start a ten count now. Matthew's still in the lead at eight fifty. So uh, 10, 5, we need a metronome, <laughs> 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, and... Um... Oh, Matthew, okay. he's he's raising his his offer. Oh, because he, he saw the Jiggy bid there. So okay. Jiggy came in at eight eight eight, and Matthew came in at nine. So wow. So we are at nine hundred dollars now. All right, very nice. Everybody's contemplative in the uh, chat on these bids, but uh, we, we'll go back to doing another ten count on this just to uh, to close it out if we can. So uh, I'll I'll do it this time, Mark. You're, go you're, for you're, it. I think you're getting tired. Let's see, ten, <laughs> nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, it goes to Matthew. Awesome. Congratulations, right, Matthew. Congratulations. That, that is a beauty. Thank you so much. Trying, I was just trying to give more space to account for that lag, which obviously we <clears throat> had Jiggy and uh, Matthew's uh, bids in there. But congratulations, Matthew, $900 on Rogue. So drop me that email to splashpageart at gmail.com. Yeah, that was gorgeous. 
Sorry, Jiggy. You own a few pieces by Paulo. <laughs> yeah, he's, so he's definitely bought. <laughs> he's definitely bought his fair share. Always appreciate it, Jiggy. So I saw a mention from Jiggy that there is a Filipino character in the um, Spider-Man project that you're doing. Uh, wait, what time? Um, um, in the Spider-Man, uh, is it animated, right, that you're working on? the? Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, freshman yeah. year. Yep, yeah, freshman year. There's a Filipina. Character. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, I, I I don't know what's been uh, revealed, so I'm, not, I'm I'm careful not to say too much. But yes, there is. If if he knows, then it's probably common knowledge. Yep. So have you worked on that character at all? Can you say that? Yep. Or... Yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay. Cool. Yeah. I know there's a there's a. Filipino teen group that um, just came through for X-Men, uh, uh, not X-Men, Marvel. Um, I can't remember the name of it right now. Jiggy might uh, know, but uh, yeah, they are introducing more um, characters from other countries, which is great, you know. Uh, so yep. I'm sure Jiggy is excited about that. Well, um, do we want to start on the the big boy here, um, <laughs> you guys? Or yeah, well, the timing's kind of perfect, actually. Okay, we're at the fifty-two right. minute mark. So, <clears throat> with this being a larger piece, and Paolo does not get an opportunity to do um, larger commission type pieces like this often, so we're going to actually start this one at uh, seven hundred and fifty as the opening amount for this. So, um, and Obviously, he's not going to be finished right now. Um, Paolo told me earlier that he probably had a couple more hours um, of time into this, right, Paolo? Yeah, yeah, but I'll, I'll finish it. If not tonight, then definitely by tomorrow night, and then I'll, I'll ship it out this week. Okay, great. All right, so um, Ryan Peters has opened with uh, 1,500 uh, on the Thanos. Wow. So we have a real solid opening there. So thanks, Ryan. Appreciate that. That's a great start. Oh, you know what? I can I can show you guys. Um, hold on. Let me undo my phone for a second. All right. So Peter has jumped in. Uh, Peter Rowe at sixteen hundred. <clears throat> All right. So that's kind of the uh, that's the color study I did. So you know, it gives you an idea of what the final will look like. So that's a digital color study that is on your computer screen. Yeah, yeah, this is kind of how I plan everything out. You, you can even see my fake ass signature. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, when, I, when I'm doing the commissions, I, I like, I, you know, I, I'm going for a certain look and that look doesn't happen on its own. You got to kind of plan for it. <laughs> Well, we have some active bidding over here. Peter jumped in at 1600 and then Ryan countered, uh, countered with um, 1600, oh, 1800, sorry. And then Peter has countered at 2000. Oh, wow. Holy moly. So uh, right now, Peter Rowe is leading at 2000. Uh, let's see, uh, Chris just jumped in. Um, I've been away for a while, but I got to say uh, the way this Thanos, Thanos piece has evolved as we watch Paolo work has been amazing. Uh, David Thank Bikini you. says beautiful color. Thank you very much. Yeah, there's, there's nothing I enjoy coloring more than uh, mass, mass murderers. <laughs> <laughs> nice. nice. Yeah, who, who loves who loves collecting colored gems? <laughs> yeah, well, in his mind, he meant well, right? Everybody <laughs> is a hero in their own story. Good intentions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Bill, do you want to do the 
Uh, well, you know, it looks like behind it. the scenes, I've actually always just set like a three minute uh, timer before we start the 10 seconds. I got oh, 30 okay. seconds left. Yeah, just I was uh, just to keep cool. us on pace. I was doing that. So uh, awesome. it gives us all a little bit uh, more time to think about this one. But, you know, Peter Rose got a strong offer in there at two thousand dollars. If anybody wants to uh, raise the bid. I'd say probably about, what, uh, about 20 seconds, we'll start the countdown. So do you have a favorite villain in the Marvel universe, Paolo? Or um, Magneto that? Yeah, it's it's kind of like a toss up between Magneto and uh, Doctor Doom. Uh, like you know, and I, I I love Galactus, but I I, I feel like uh, it, it's he's not he's almost not a villain. He's just kind of a, like a force of nature. So as far as like character wise, I I probably say either Magneto or Doctor Doom. You have lots of experience painting Dr. Doom, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I love those, you know, those were back in 2005. And that's that's really when I, I became a fan of the character. I mean, that that's kind of when I always become a fan of the characters, when I actually, like, read these stories. Because, you know, growing up, I, I actually didn't read that many comics. I subscribed to Wizard. And so, I like, I knew who all the characters were, and I knew who all the artists and writers were. But uh, I didn't start really reading the comics, you know, I'd say in, until college. Uh, I mean, that, that's not entirely true. I, I definitely read it in high school, but to, you know, to a much lesser degree. You know, college, I started spending my own money. On. <laughs> well, we didn't do our uh, timer here, but uh, I'll, I'll do a 10 count and then we can call this one. Peter's still at, uh, he's got the highest bid at 2000. So 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, Peter, congratulations. This one's wow. going to you. Thank you, Peter. Once again. Oh, yeah, we just uh, Chris. had a late bid, I'm afraid. <laughs> yeah, you got to get a, we, we definitely gave a lot of extra time on this one, Chris. Sorry to say. Looking you back out to show a wider view. No, I can't. I'm not in control of the camera on that one, though, Chris. Unfortunately. Um, yeah. And uh, your camera is probably fixed, right, Paolo? Um, uh, I can I can come out just a little bit. Give me a second. I gotta put down the brush. Uh, yeah, I've, I've got it on like a fixed a fixed arm to keep things real steady. That's that's yeah, about as far as I can go. Gotcha. Well, see, and that's the lag part of it, everybody. You know, like I say, you're about five seconds behind us. And uh, I mean, it, it's up to you guys. I mean, uh, to me, Peter, you know, we have, to, you know, if we follow what we, we always do on uh, any of the shows, I mean, it, we got to stick with the way things are seen here in the studio. But uh, um, I mean, even uh, even after the, we didn't start the 10 count until 30 seconds later than we said we were going to, too. So, uh, I mean, I want to make more money for, for Paulo and uh as well he's got he's got kids to clothe <laughs> <laughs> um but uh i'm not okay. allowed to buy my children's clothes because if, <laughs> if i did it would just all be superhero crap <laughs> right right exactly uh hey i mean but you know again I, I really have to leave it up to you guys this is how i would normally do it i see people in the chat i mean chris banneville says he's okay with it i mean chris is a regular on the chat uh, you know as well i mean yeah. I, I, I appreciate everybody's support on there but yeah p if we we, yeah, we should stick to what's the way we did it yes um, yeah i mean we have in the past i think that's the right thing to do obviously we would all like to make more money for paulo but um but yes um we're gonna stick with uh, peter as a winner at 2000 as as i just like we said uh, there's always going to be a lag and um yeah if you if you want it go for it right when um when the person beats you um so that we don't have an issue but uh yeah hopefully and there'll be another time chris and um yeah we we've been participating as often as we can on yeah the on next comic art live will be in in may and i know mark's thinking about doing some other uh sales opportunities whether they're live streams or whatnot in the in the future as well so i'm sure there, there will be other um opportunities like this one coming up in the future with with mark and paulo and probably some of other uh, artists that Mark reps. So definitely other opportunities. But as we've said at the beginning, you know, Paulo's been on five of our six 
shows and I, and I would, I, I, Paulo, I expect to see you again in May. Yeah, yeah, definitely. These are always fun for me to do. And you guys, if you aren't already subscribed to my email newsletter, go to splashpageart.com and sign up because uh, I, I would definitely send an announcement out to uh, people that are signed up um, to let them know when Paolo and I are going to do uh, a stream of our own. Uh, so uh, if you would go sign up, Chris, uh, you'll definitely be notified uh, when we do that. Uh, Chris is saying, maybe I can get a daredevil from Paolo sometime. Yeah, I have a long list of people who would love to get a daredevil and other pieces from, from Paolo. <laughs> so uh, this is, uh, has been the best opportunity, but we're going to try to do something like we said. Um, so, yep, I love Paolo's run on Daredevil as well. Yep, uh, same so here. Jiggy is congratulating all the winners, even though he wasn't one this time. But yes, uh, he, he definitely has been in the past. So, uh, Chris, if you go to splashpageart.com, there is a sign up um, for a new email newsletter. Um, I think it's on the bottom left portion of the website. So if you want to go get yourself signed up, uh, get on the mailing list. Uh, that is how I notify people about uh, art drops and and opportunities like this. Yep, yep. And I'm uh, I'm on you know all the social media. I'll be on Twitter as long as it as it lasts. <laughs> 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 You know, polarbear.com. Uh, I'll, I'll always try and you know announce this stuff whenever I'm going to be a part of it. But you know, I love I love being part of Comic Art Live. I, I try and do it every time that you guys uh, set it up. It's always a pleasure, and uh, I appreciate the support. No, it's, it's my pleasure to do these, Paula. When we when we first did the the original one, it was Mark and I were really. Uh, I mean, Mark was the primary guy I was talking with, trying to figure out what we wanted to do, and we you know it was through those conversations that we came up with the idea to do this show uh, you know as it as it stands and we really haven't changed the format much we've stuck with uh, with what works it worked great from the first time we did it in may 2020 until yep. now so yeah and uh and you guys you you were there right at right at the beginning and yeah uh, no it, it, it's been great for me like you know aside from from the pandemic like it just makes it easy for me like if i can't get away because of the kids i can still kind of enjoy what i liked about about conventions without any of the difficult stuff like you know I just kind of turn on the camera and, and start having fun uh, so i really appreciate you guys kind of setting all this up so yes. still no physical conventions in your near future then paulo is that what not i i'm i'm thinking not for at least a year and I, I need the boy to be at least four uh but he's already <laughs> he's already much much easier than he was like just three months ago so no complaints here. Gotcha. Because I was about to hit you up for um, an opportunity abroad. Uh, but uh, we can talk about that that later. I've got an international show that um, was interested in having you as a guest. So, but uh, yeah, if you're... <laughs> talk, talk to my wife. <laughs> gotcha. I will. <laughs> and she might want to go. Uh, she would, but it always comes down to where are the kids. <laughs> That's what grandparents are for. Oh man, they eat my grand my parents alive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your your mom is a isn't probably too nice to the grandkids. Oh, she loves them. She okay. loves them. The, the The problem is she's too nice. It's uh, right. That's what that, I'm that's, yeah, that's always. Man, and, but they even they eat my wife alive too. I'm I'm the only one who can like keep them in line. You're the stern disciplinarian, huh? Uh, yeah, somebody's got to be. Yep, I hear you. <laughs> yeah, Chris is saying, what about the in laws? We're all trying to get you at conventions. I know. Well, so a lot of the the, the in laws are actually they. So my uh, you know April's parents live in Taiwan. And so we haven't seen them since March of 2020. Wow. And so they're, they're actually coming, uh, this, this Thanksgiving and it's, it's kind of a big deal, uh, cause wow. we haven't seen them in so long. So yeah, it's like, you know, so many logistical things that that's why I love this, you know, comic art live. Cause like, there's a lot of stuff I just can't do right now. 
but this makes it possible and I can still connect with people and still, you know, make a living. It's, it's just really nice to, to have that option that didn't, you know, didn't exist previously. Yeah, well, Holly, the you and Mark are welcome on the channel anytime you want. <laughs> I would appreciate my, it, Bill. You always have my support, so I love getting to hang out with you both. Yeah, Bill and I uh, have hung out for years at conventions previously, so yeah, definitely miss that. Um, it's nice to get to chat with you, Bill, and I know we've seen each other um, a little bit recently, but uh, not near yeah, as San much Diego. as we used to. Definitely. Well, I mean, next year, I don't know if I'm going to San Diego. I'll definitely be going to New York, though. So it's. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I miss I miss going to New York. That, that was like, you know, that was my favorite. Yeah, mine, too. I mean, it's the artist alley's nice. There's there's so many pros there at that one. And uh, and you get a lot of international artists going to New York. So that that makes this, the show a little bit more interesting because you're going to see uh, artists that you're just not going to see at any other show in the States, you know, whether. Yeah. You know, I, yeah. So I love that one as well. Yeah, missed out on it. But um, yeah, so we all could just sit here and watch you uh, paint for hours. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but uh, and, and you know, like I mentioned, the Danny Fingeroth panel is canceled. Everybody. So uh, the next panel I'll be on is at three o'clock. So another hour from now, three o'clock Eastern. I'll have uh, uh, who do I got? Oh, Matthew Allison from Inky Knuckles. I'll be interviewing him. No art sales with that one. Just uh, straight hanging out chatting with somebody whose artwork I, I admire a lot and uh yeah that'll be the second panel i've done with one of cam's guys this weekend too so it'll be, be a lot of fun but um again congr congrats to all the people who picked up art today and uh you know we all appreciate it paulo appreciates it mark appreciates it um and mark like you said it'll probably be a, a week or two before you get the art in hand yep. and you'll be shipping it but uh as uh, as you all know pay your invoices promptly and uh, that artwork will get shipped out as soon as Mark's got it in hand. Yep, definitely will. All right, awesome. Well, I'm going to take a break for a little bit before I start my next panel. And, uh, oh, keep the, keep this live then, Mark. It says, Paula, you just just keep painting. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll keep going. My, uh, It's funny, my, my kids are actually home now, but my, my wife is keeping them outside. Uh, when When the pandemic hit, and we really we weren't sure what was going to happen. The first thing I did was I ordered a zip line and installed it in the backyard. Nice. And uh, that's <laughs> one of the best things I did. And uh, but they haven't used it in a while, but they're using it right now. So I I, I love hearing that. We we're actually in the in the midst of uh, redoing our whole backyard. Uh, we we moved to a new a new house in 2019 when my son was born. And it's it's finally finally shaping up. We got a little room in the backyard if you can have a zip line back there. Yeah, I know it's it's a fantastic backyard, uh, and we're we're in the middle of of just making it uh, as good as it could have possibly been, uh, and and right now it's looking great. When you see Bill's compound, he could have like a commercial sized. Uh, <laughs> A zip line in his backyard. <laughs> that's that's what I always tell my wife. I was like, you know, if we go to Florida, we could live like kings. <laughs> it's true. It's we got the, our place is five acres, Paulo. It's uh, oh wow. Uh, and and if I can never get work done what I want to get done on it, we'll definitely uh, um, you know have you know we're gonna it'll it'll feel like a compound, I guess. You you could have <laughs> you could either go one or two ways. You could have your own comic convention or you could start your own religion. <laughs> That's true. That is actually very true. You'd be surprised if you saw the pictures. I bought the place because it's it's definitely great for entertaining. It has it has like a great room in the center that's about 35 by 70. And uh, oh, wow. And so, you know, it's it, it really it, it was uh, it meant to have uh, a lot of guests at it. And it's got a huge covered back patio and um but there's a few things, that, but I still, I want to add a little bit more to it. And then, yeah, actually I, I do plan on doing about two get togethers here every year. And, um, and I, and I am planning on starting a art con in the Orlando area in 2024 in February. So, oh, wow. um, so yeah, that's something I've, uh, I wanted to do. We, we did kind of a small one in Columbus 
in August tied to that Marvel exhibit being there. But now that I'm down here in Florida and I know I'm going to be here permanently, I'm, I'm been talking with a lot of local artists. And to me, it's like if, you know, I'm not even, as, Mark, I'd love to have you, but it, I, almost, I almost don't care if we, if we can't get any dealers to come out. I think as long as you had like 10 to 12 great artists and if you have and you bring in 150 200 art, art collectors you're gonna have a great show i mean the art art collectors will enjoy it but but mark you know you're welcome you're the first person i'm inviting to that all right cool i'll be staying at your place sure, <laughs> sure. Uh, by that time i'll have a you know hopefully i'll have a in-law suite set you know a separate that, that's what i want to build i want to actually build a large studio in the back that can uh, double as a you know a place for for me to have guests in a, in a hi separate. kids Hi. hi what's up bud you want to come say hi <laughs> <laughs> oh I, ma I imagine you don't have a uh uh downstairs um what you call it hell we don't even have them here um where i stayed in you know ohio uh, your basement oh no no uh, no basements no attics here the end, yeah the end of the <laughs> not at all Hi, bud. But I have a big garage. Uh, right now, you can stay in oh, that. Wow. Great. That's I why I need. In, that's why I need I this other uh, in-law suite in a pool. That's the goal. I'm live streaming. You want to show? You want to show your little hands? Show show your little hands, pumpkin, so everybody can see. Just your Hi. hands. <laughs> Buddy, you want to show your hands to everybody? Right. Don't don't touch the art. All right. There we go. All right. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> There's a delay. That's why you can still see yeah. it. Mm -hmm. but yeah, Pitfall. Boy, I haven't thought about Pitfall in a long time. That was a good they're, game. They're the people who are selling my artwork, bud. This is how you eat. <laughs> yeah, that's Thanos, bud. You're always right, talking to me job. about collecting all the Infinity Stones. That's Thanos. He's the one that puts all the stones into his Infinity Gauntlet. And then he kills half of the universe. You're bringing them up right. Well, I like a nice kid yeah. already. Bye. <laughs> Was that your daughter? Don't stay with dad. Okay. You want? What do you want, bud? You want BB-8? Oh. Oh. I didn't. I didn't mean to. <laughs> And the trash. You want to paint with me, bud? No, I will grab it out of there. I will grab it later. I will grab it later. Hey, Peter, if you're still around, I, I saw your Peter. email, so I'll respond in a bit. Peter Parker. <laughs> I don't think it's Peter Parker, but, but his name is Peter, and he actually just bought a lot of artwork for me today. But you know who Peter Parker is, right, bud? I'm, I'm holding... Bishop here in my left hand while I paint uh, with my right. Why are you painting? Yeah, Why am I right. painting? Because uh, I want to finish up this Thanos. What is that? Uh, which piece? Which part? This part. Uh, that is his pectoral muscle. And this is his hand. This is his hand. I haven't finished, but these are all, these are going to be all the gems. Do you remember which ones are which? Which? What's the green stone? The green stone has to be there. Yeah, but what is it? Control? Mm. Time. I don't even remember that. I don't either. <laughs> well, I, I should say I'm, I'm basing my, uh, my understanding of the stones off of the uh, movie as opposed to the comic because they are different. So in the movie, Daddy, red is that, red. That what? green has to be on the rock. You're right, bud. You're right. So in the movie, the green one is on the thumb. You're absolutely right, bud. But in the comics, the red one is on the thumb. Wow, I'm impressed. See, these are this is all the research that goes into, <laughs> into these things because the the colors are even different. They're, in the comics, it's I don't think it's even a red stone. I think it's pink. But they they made it red in the movie. Why well, you have this? Uh, that's how they're seeing what I'm drawing. So when I have my hand here, the camera from the phone 
transmits it to the internet and that way everybody can watch it. So do you take, um, pencil and do uh, uh, painting and stuff as well? Have you started them on that uh, voyage? Yeah, a little bit. The, the problem is, yeah, that's your hand, <laughs> but the, the problem is that the, there's too much cool stuff for them to do. So I have to make their lives more boring so that they, uh, all right, but you got to draw more. They draw on the, I, they draw on the I iPad. Grogu. You want Grogu? Okay. Is she actually Oh, that one? No, you can't have that Grogu. Why? Uh, because that one's not cooked yet. You want to show them, bud? You can show them, Grogu. Grogu. Yep, you can show them if you're real careful, okay? All right, hold it. You, you oh, you want me to show them? Okay. There's Grogu. Awesome. Very cool. Done in uh, Super Sculpey. Never finished. But maybe someday, bud. Maybe someday. You build those so you have reference uh, for all. Uh, this, drives, this one was right? this one was just for fun because back in 2020, I didn't, you know, I basically became a full time full time dad. So I still wanted to do something, um, and so I I made a Grogu. Right, bud. Yeah. Dad. What? I want something from Dale. Okay. All right. All right, guys. I I'm afraid I have to sign off. Not a problem, yeah. Paulo. You want to say you want you want to say bye, bud? Bye bye. They can hear you. Can you say bye? No. How about a wave? A wave no. will do. Okay. Not not gonna happen. All right. Well, this is Bishop. He's signing off. Bye, Bishop. <laughs> All right, Bishop. Take care of yourself, Paulo. Thanks again, man. This was so yeah. much fun, Mark. Thank as well. you, guys. I appreciate it. What? Mom's gonna buy. A treat for us. She's going to buy a treat for you? Oh, that's super nice. And for me. Oh, that's very nice, bud. All right, can you say bye to everyone? Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. Uh, thanks right. for supporting supporting my artwork and, and this little guy. Um, it's always appreciated. I always have so much fun doing this. Thanks, Bill. Thanks, Mark. Yep, see you, Paolo. We'll You're talk quite soon. welcome, Paolo. Thanks for, thanks for doing this once again with us. We'll see you again uh, hopefully soon. Take care, everybody. Yeah, definitely. All right.